Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the issue where if you're getting an error saying that we couldn't complete the updates and it's undoing the changes. This is a somewhat common issue you might be having on your Windows device. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to resolve this without too much hassle. So we're going to jump right into it. So if you're getting that error and you've tried restarting your computer a few times, you're unable to get to the start menu or whatnot. What I want you to do is do a hard power turn off or hard power reset three times in a row, meaning using your power button, I want you to push in on the power button three times once your computer is turned on, turn it off, and then turn it back on, off again, and then on, and then off. So do that sequence three times in a row. This will launch the automatic repair utility that you see on the screen right here. So once we're on there, so once we're onto this screen, it should say that your PC did not start correctly. Press restart to restart your PC, which we do not want to do here because we're going to end up in that same loop that we were in before. And you can also press the advanced option to try other options to repair your PC. I would select advanced options from this screen, so select the second option here. And then underneath choose an option, we have access to a few different troubleshooting utilities that we can get to by clicking on this middle tile that says troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options. You want to left click on that. And now you have a few different options, or at least even on this screen, you can actually just do a complete reset of your computer, which will reinstall Windows, which I don't recommend doing as one of your first options but again if one of the later options does not work for you you can always go back and try this but for right now I'm gonna go underneath advanced options which should be the second tile so now we have access to a large swath of different utilities we can use if you're receiving a specific error I would recommend you check out my channel if you're receiving a specific blue screen because I address a lot of different command line fixes in this environment that could resolve your problem if you're not experiencing a specific blue screen error and you're just getting the error that is described in the title of this video, we're going to go through a couple of different options here. The first one I would recommend is actually go to the system restore tile in the top left, which as most of you guys will be aware will have the ability to restore back to an earlier saved restore point. Now I do not have any saved on this virtual environment. If you did have one, there would be a drop down menu that would appear right here and you would just select whichever one you wanted to revert back to. A lot of times if you have programs that install, sometimes they will create a restore point. Sometimes you might have manually created a restore point and there should be a little description telling you what the restore point is. And there should definitely be a date as to when it was created. You just would typically want to restore back to the newest created one and then you just would click on next and it would be pretty automatic from there. It's not really that exciting but that's definitely something that I'd recommend trying as one of your first methods. So I'm going to cancel out of here. So assuming that did not work for you, I'm going to go back into the troubleshooting menu and then underneath advanced options again. So we can go underneath startup repair, which is the bottom left tile, which will fix problems to keep windows from loading. So you could run the startup repair utility that does have a good amount of success as well. I'd say from my experience, it works about 50% of the time. And you can also go in and start up settings if you wanted to try and get into safe mode. That's again, that's another option. If you had a system image backup via CD or DVD, you can go underneath system image recovery here. And then all you would do is pop in the CD or DVD from any recovery media that you might have created in the past. Since I do not have one for this example, we're not going to obviously do this method. But if you did, this is how you would access this prompt. And then as a last resort, you could always reset your PC. So if we went underneath that, we can either just keep our personal files, but it will reset the general Windows operating system, or we could do a clean wipe and remove everything. So again, those are a little bit more time consuming and I recommend waiting on this until you've gone through and exhausted the other methods. But definitely it's more steps you can take. And as always, you can also wait to just let the Windows Update do its thing. Sometimes I found that just by letting it sit and run, maybe it'll take 20 or 30 minutes. That can also just automatically fix itself to a certain extent. 
but I would definitely see what you could do with these utilities. I believe we went over at least four or five different startup utilities we can use. And this screen should be accessible to just about everybody. If you do not have access to this screen, you're more than welcome to download the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Burn Windows 10 to a CD or DVD, which is very simple and straightforward to do. I have made videos on this channel in the past of doing it. It's completely free and through Microsoft Direct. At least at the time of this recording, it's been available for the last couple years. And all you would do is boot your Windows to computer from that CD or DVD, and you'd be able to access these options as well. So just put that out there, food for thought. But I do hope that one of the methods in this video worked for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.